Welcome. I'm Zach Wasserman, the CTO of Fleet, and I'm here to give you a demo of Fleet. So here we are on the Fleet homepage. This is our dashboard that shows us some information about all of the devices that we have enrolled in Fleet. We see a summary of the hosts by platform, online versus offline, over here, we have an activity feed that shows what our users have been doing within Fleet. And on the left, we've got the software that's installed across all of the hosts that we have enrolled. We'll be looking more at the software shortly. One thing I'd like to point out is that with Fleet Premium, we have the concept of teams that allows us to segment the hosts in our organization based on any attributes that we'd like, really. But this allows us to target configs and also see any of the views within the fleet dashboard segmented by hosts. So for example, I can select our MDM enrolled workstations, see that we've got 21 Mac OS hosts here. And these devices are automatically enrolled into this team and become visible on this dashboard when we enroll new devices into our macOS MDM. So now I'd like to show you what the view into hosts looks like. So I'm going to go over to the all hosts page, and I'm actually going to bring us back to all teams. So we can see a lot of information here on this page, and we can actually edit which of the columns we'd like to be visible, including information about who is the user of these devices. So if we come over here, we can see some folks who are using these hosts within the organization. Now we also see some basic information about the operating system, the disk space, and more, the IP address. And we'll see that depending on whether the device is online or offline, this last fetched information is pretty recent typically. And this is something that we can manually update if we want very fresh information. Now, let's say you're in an organization with quite a few more hosts. One really convenient thing we can do here is look up a device specifically by the serial number or even by the email address of the user who's using it. So for example, I can look up my own device and see that this comes up. If we come over here into the details page, we'll see that my email appears under the used by section. We also see some more basic information about the device, how much memory it has, the OS query version that's running, when it was added to fleet, the serial number. There's lots of good information here that can be useful to admins. There's a full listing of the software on the device, and we can even see which pieces of software have vulnerabilities. We can look at the schedule of queries that are running, how often those queries are running. So this is a way for us to collect information about the device and send it into a logging aggregation system. And we can also see the compliance with organizational policies. Note that we're out of compliance with one of these policies here. So this is something that I'm going to come back to later in the demo. Moving over to the software tab, we can see the software across all of the devices within our organization. We can prioritize that based on the probability of exploit, so the, C the EPSS score, and we can filter to only vulnerable software. This looks pretty similar right now because the vulnerable software by default shows up first. We can also look at this segmented by teams, of course, if you're working in Fleet Premium. Clicking on a specific vulnerability or piece of software allows us to see all of the vulnerabilities associated with that software with links out to the National Vulnerability Database where we can see more details about that particular vulnerability. 
we can also from this page see a list of all of the hosts who have that particular piece of software. So here's a vulnerability with PIP that actually seems to affect a number of the hosts within our organization right now. So this gives us a good indication that it's time to do an upgrade here. The Queries tab allows us to have saved queries that we can then run directly from within the console here. And we can run this as a live query, getting information from any device that's online currently. So again, I could target my device, run the query, and within usually about 10 seconds, we'll see results from the query coming in. If you're targeting more than one host, which you can certainly be targeting hundreds or thousands, you'll see results pretty much instantly as those devices check in. And here's the result of that query. So this is really useful if you're hunting for some specific indicator of compromise in a security scenario, or if you're looking for misconfigurations across your organization. Coming over to the Schedule tab, this is where we are able to schedule queries to run at an interval and have the logging go into our logging pipeline. The UI shows us that our configured logging destination here is AWS Firehose, and this is a great way to get logs into S3, Snowflake, Splunk, Elastic, Graylog, or really any other logging destination that you might like to have. Now the Policies tab lets us set organizational policies that we'd like to have all our devices be in compliance with. So we saw this in the case of uh, my device that I demonstrated earlier. And we can see that for the most part, there's good compliance with the policies. This is partly because MDM is enforcing a lot of these. But there are a couple of devices that need to be remediated. And again, I'm going to come back to this as part of the user-initiated self-remediation features. I also want to point out that everything that you're seeing in the UI here can be accessed via the command line. So I'm going to switch over to a terminal and demonstrate what that looks like.